Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you haven't been here before. Today's video is actually a follow-up to one of my previous videos, the Trying On 3 Amazing Amazon Wigs. So today I'm going to actually do the follow-up because I finally took my hair extensions out, which literally went in about four days after that I filmed the last video on these wigs. So I'm going to do another video, trying on the very same wigs, and then I'm also, this is the one that has no fringe here on the Sally Head doll. I'm also going to pluck it and change the front um, i'm going to unpick that bit for you guys and see if i can get it to sit lower on my hairline because it does look very wiggy if you don't have a fringe on a wig or if you don't have a lace on a wig lace front so i'm going to try on the other ones for you first um, the ones with the fringe so you can see what they look like um, i'm just going to put my hair in a ponytail and then put the wig cap on so the first wig i'm going to try on is the cute little bob one and these are all hair cube um, and they'll be linked again in the description. So, I do really like these wigs. As far as this wig goes, it is, it is quite cute. You know the shape of the bob with the little fringe, the little flicky bits. It is a cute, cute wig. Now I haven't plucked the um, part, which you can do. I would definitely do that because it does make it look more natural. It's quite a thin part in at the moment, but I would definitely like pluck that a bit more. You could definitely just wear this as is. You know, people are going to know you're wearing a wig, but honestly, who cares? But if you pluck, pluck the root, they might not think that as much. A little bit of separation going on here, which keeps making it fall in front of my face and then look a bit flat. So I'm going to try it with the hair dryer and a round brush and see if I can style, get rid of that, that little bit there. Let's have a look, I've got my really big round brush from Moroccan Oil with the little pointy stick on the end, I love this. <laughs> see if I can just do that. Separate that bit out. See if the heat will work. I don't know if that did anything at all, to be honest with you. I think it's got rid of where it was sort of separating, or has it? I don't know. Let's see if I can draw it back a bit, because I kind of don't want it coming so far down my face, and getting in my eyes, because that's when you just get annoyed with your hair. Like, I'm not a fringe person, they drive me insane. So I'm just seeing if I can over direct or redirect where the hair falls so obviously because it's plastic it's not real hair so it's not quite the same but i'm kind of using the same concept of using the heat and then letting it sit where it where i want it to while it cools because then it will set it so i'm just sort of redirecting it back off my face a bit oh look it's coming off my head entirely See if that'll work. So that worked. Redirecting it, pulling it back a bit from the root. So I'm just going to grab this bit at the front as well and do that too. And I might do it with the fringe. Give it a go. Okay, what I'm going to do first is actually I'm going to do the same on this side to what I did on this side because while I'm doing the fringe, it just keeps this bit as well. It's falling in my face and getting confused with the fringe and it's Ooh, driving me insane so I'm just gonna redo all of it and properly heat style it back off of my face
I wasn't planning on doing this for this video. <laughs> but might as well, seeing as we're here. Okay, that worked. That worked. So that's now nicely going that way rather than like that and then just dropping forward. And then we'll try and do something with this fringe, shall we? Just nip it over a little bit that way. I'm not putting any heat on the ends because this hair, um, that will take the curl out if you put hair in it and then it drops. You have to hold it while it sets the heat like hot to cold set it's not like real human hair oh that's cute look at that oh that's cute <laughs> okay let's fix this front bit obviously fringe is not my friend it's like I don't wear fake lashes because I don't like how they feel in my eyes and it's the same with wigs like if I blink a fringe in my eyes oh hate it where are you coming from it's driving me nuts this little bit is it you is it you <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. Okay. Yeah, you can definitely like style these with a hairdryer. Where are you coming from? But honestly, it is fiddly because of all the bits getting getting involved, getting in your eyes and stuff. I don't know if you'd want to put up with that. So I'm just sort of winging this video totally. I was not going to be doing this at all. <laughs> I was just going to try these ones on with the fringe. I don't hate it it looks okay but yeah i think maybe choose where your hairline's gonna be and then pluck it because obviously there's no part in there at the moment so it looks more wiggy should we pluck it should i pluck it this video is already 20 minutes long <laughs> so what i'm gonna do is i've got it off my head now and i've separated it at the parting for the fringe and I'm going to pluck the hairline not the fringe line I'm going to pluck the hairline a little just to give a bit of a um, an actual parting where you can see the scalp and I'm going to pluck the parting a little bit more as well just to make it a bit thicker like a real natural parting so I've got my tweezers and I'm just pinning down the fringe with my finger and I'm plucking from this side straight I'll hold this up at the same time as seeing Oh, can I have to can I can I do it this way? So you're just pulling out like a few hairs at a time. Might have to speed this up because this is taking forever. That is starting to look very good now. So it actually looks way more natural. I'm going to pluck the part a little bit, like the actual part, not just the fringe part. I think I'm 
have just grabbed some of my fingers and just pulled them out because it doesn't yeah that's actually a lot easier <laughs> just pinch a little with your fingers See what this looks like now. Don't want to go too far and wreck the whole thing. That looks good, doesn't it? It's got an actual parting now. It looks better in real life than it does on camera. I'll leave it like that for now. Try it. Try it on now. Move it over to where it's supposed to go. Okay, I wouldn't say they look that much different, to be honest with you. I mean, I can't really tell the difference. You might be able to, you might think it looks more different. I don't think it looks that different. It might, because the light's changed. Let me turn this light off in a sec. Maybe a little bit could go out of there, just so it doesn't look so thick, thin, thick, or something. But it looks okay. Maybe cross that over a little bit more. There's like a little thingy here that's not the hair. It's like the base where they've added the fringe. So you can't pluck that to make that bit of parting go all the way down. So it's like you've got a separated fringe. One bit going that way, one bit going that way. Um, okay, that's where I'm at with this wig. I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm not going to keep mucking about with it because it looks okay, I think. It looks fine. Um, I have got a big forehead anyway, so this part is always going to look a bit wiggy when I wear wigs. But that looks okay, you know, like even this bit here that's going back, because I styled it off my face now, doesn't look too crazy because the shadow helps make it look like it's my hair, you know. Let me know what you think. I'm showing the actual parting of the wigs. It looks okay, I'll show you the back. Oh. I mean, I feel like it looks strange on me because I'm not used to me with a bob. So to me, it just, it looks a bit strange anyway, but obviously people that aren't used to seeing me wouldn't know what I look like on a regular. <laughs> so it wouldn't be like a shock change. I think it looks okay. I'm going to do a little bit of that training on the long wig with the fringe and then we'll move on to fixing that wig. This is the wig that I loved. This is the Raquel Welch, I think. Is it Raquel Welch? I can't remember. But the, um, the pin up from the 80s fringe wig that I really like and it looks lovely when you put it on the side fringe. I'm just going to try this one on for you, show you what this one looks like. Get all the bits off my fingers. And then try and separate this fringe out a bit so it's um, not all going in my eyes. Okay. So what I'll do as well, just brush it real quick. And then I'm going to try and train this fringe to stop it doing this because it's all bitty and in my face i'm going to try and over direct this hair using the hairdryer to get it off of my face because this to me is hell oh honestly oh right find it where it's 
all the bits that drop down. This bit here is fine, this is going out to the side, so that's okay. So anything above, I'm going to get the brush, pull it back away from my face, and then put the hairdryer on it, direct it away from hanging down on my face, because that's the bit that's the most annoying about these wigs, is it just gets... While it cools, you just want to hold it where you want it to be trained to. So I want it back off my face. So just keep it pulled that way. So it sets in that direction. See how that goes. Okay. Apart from this bit, that went quite well. <laughs> Let's see if I can't fix this somehow. Let's see if I can do this. Yeah, that went fine. <laughs> okay, I might do a bit of that under there actually, because I like how that looks. Interesting. I've never styled my hair, my wigs before with a hairdryer. That is so much better already. Just not having it on my face. Oh, that's so much better. Right. I don't keep whispering. It's actually that sits straight. Now the ear tabs are the same. Okay, so this side, I'm going to do the same with this top part so that the long bits don't keep getting tangled in with the fringe part because that is the worst bit like this here. They are so annoying. That definitely worked. That's brilliant now. That's off my face. I'm not using any heat on the bottom because I don't want to lose these little flicky bits. I really like these. So it is just on the root. Okay, that went well. That worked. Okay. So now I've got this front bit to do. Here, I'm just gonna heat that a little so it's off my face a bit. Let's put this fringe over here because oh, it's in my eyeballs. So you can take the heat out by putting your hand on it because then the heat moves into your hand and leaves the hair as well. So it just speeds up the process. Okay, that's really good. <laughs> I'm impressed. All right. Okay. Where are you? Who are you? Get away from the other half. Oh, there's like one hair right on my eyelashes. Get off. Right. Fringe time. Do I need to do anything with the fringe? I don't know. The fringe looks quite good. I don't know. We don't know, you know. Okay. I really like this. This is good. I might not touch the fringe because it doesn't look broke, so don't fix it. Do you know what I mean? Like I don't want to mess it up anymore. Or or is it? Or is it? It does need a little bit, doesn't it? Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this top part and direct it over a little bit. It's because there's a gap. Wish me luck. It's just sacrificed itself. <laughs> Look, 
okay. You can go as well. My little single hair is dropping down. Right. Is this okay now? Oh, I really like it. That's really cool. It looks really good. One more bit. I'll show you the back. How's that looking? Looks okay, doesn't it? I like, I really like this flicky bit down the bottom. Just give me a tube. Like, this is so pretty. Such a pretty wig. It'd be nice to have like hair like this for real, wouldn't it? <laughs> Just imagine having hair like this in real life. It'd be so nice. All the flicky bits. Oh, beautiful. Anyway, right, so let's move along quickly. So this is this wig. I'm going to quickly put it on so I'll show you what it did look like. It's quite bulky at the hairline. This is the one that's got like one side was just absolute perfection and the other just kept dropping in front of my face. Right, what do we want to do? I want to like make it go this way a bit more so it's off my face. I'm mindful that I don't want to lose these lovely curls on the ends, these like body waves, because they're so perfect. But I don't want this to keep dropping in front of my face. Yeah, that's annoying. Anyway, before, and we'll do the after. Ping! Oh, I'm going to put my glasses on for this bit because I don't want to cut the wrong piece. So for this you need teeny weeny scissors. I've got my little swan nail scissors. <clears throat> I've got bigger scissors if I need them as well for cutting across the band. So the little scissors you need to get in under this seam line here, this part. Unpick that, open it up and then cut it off. So it's just cutting the threads around a bit. Just trying to get under there like this. Scissors. I don't even know what that is. I'm just going to carry on cutting that off. It's just like a, a seam. A hem. Oh, that's been hemmed there. Pull out all those bits. So now that's flat. I can't see how that's going to make it less bulky. It's definitely something underneath there. It's got the bulkiness to it. It's creating the bulky bit. Okay, that didn't go quite to plan, I will admit. So instead, because I'm not I'm not about to cut the front of that at all where it's bulky. It's actually it's like bulky here, like this bit is folded over with all the hair in it. I'm not gonna cut that because that's just gonna wreck this whole wig. I know it. So I'm actually just going to pluck the free, uh, pluck the part and see if that helps it to look less crazy. It's 
bringing the parting down to the front because there was no parting at the front it was just it's together so i'm just going to continue to create the parting down the front because your hair naturally has a wider part at the front anyway and this has no part at the front so i'm just going to pick out some fine pieces weave them out like when you're doing highlights and you can grab them pull them to the other side like that so you can see what it will look like once they're out and that looks okay get in there I'm gonna pull the hair out see here where it's folded over I'm gonna pull that hair out from under there because I think that will help with the bulk yeah so that's quite good so can you see that this bit of hair here is creating bulk because it's literally from underneath it's underneath the wig don't need that so bye I'll give this a go shall we I'll try that because now look now it looks like skin more makeup on the side how's that yeah that's all underneath here so so that oh actually nails just check it like fold it both ways make sure it's not gonna look too crazy and then just connect <laughs> So this is the other side, very bulky, and this is now this side, less bulky. Mm. Feels good as well, feels better. Oh, interesting. I'm going to try it on. I might, I'll pluck a little bit of the parting first actually, a little bit more of the parting. And then I'll try it on. So if I keep doing this off camera, it's, um, it's hard. Hard to do. Just pulling little bits out. Make it look more jaggedy than so uniform. You see what I mean? It's much better, isn't it? So I'm just going to do a little bit more here because this bit's done down here to here, and then I've got a little bit flat there. So I'm going to move a couple of bits out of there. Because obviously, it's like the tiniest pieces as well. You don't need to do loads. A good effect. Be so careful because you could just trash it so easily. You're gonna have to like make a new part in. <laughs> it's a bit right out of the middle that was. Okay, so 
that's out all the way across there. Now I've got to do this side. Okay, there's still actually more there. It's not completely cleared away. Oh, that was a lot of hair. Here's the comb. So keep that bit. And lose this bit. We try it. Mm. It's definitely less bulky here now. Um, shall I just try and pluck some more out of here? <laughs> I'm just winging it at this point. Can learn from my mistakes. You can see that bit that pulled out too much. Just be careful of not doing that. I mean, if I pulled out a little bit more at the front, it might even that out. Okay, there's a little bit there. Huh. See this bit here? I don't like it. No, I'm just going to blow dry it. I'm going to blow dry it and then okay. we'll see if I can get it to go the other way before I cut it because once it's cut, that's it. Right now, that bit I like, I want it to kind of go under, don't I? So, like that. <laughs> go away, you You're scary. <laughs> Like the exorcist. Okay, and then I'll just hold that whilst it cools. Let's see if I can get it to do what I want it to do. Did it do it? Did it do it? Oh, bloody hell. <gasps> it did it. Stupid faces. <sighs> it did it. Amazing. Now, can I get this to do that? We will see. Okay. Don't that. You have to like picture this curl and think how, where the brush went to get it to do that. It's like. In your face and then out of your face. So it's already in my face. I kind of want it to go up and then back down again. Oh, I get confused. That's curling off of my face. So it's like here.
He's just going for a run. Okay, that didn't do anything at all. <laughs> I don't want to trash these hair straighteners. I've had these for years. I think they're the Mark IV GHD, so they're so good. I've had these about 10 years, I think. I bought the Platinum since, and the pl all it did was like get caught in my hair and drag my hair, and I hated it. So I've hated it, and then I'm just going to hold it in this bend formation to see if I can get it to set because obviously you just heard the beeps it wasn't as hot as it can be I don't want to melt this hair I don't know if it's like how heat proof it is so I didn't check that on the other on the listing it's still quite warm it's still wet heat <gasps> that worked Oh, oh, bit higher up. <gasps> Try that. <laughs> You're just like on a journey with me. Kinky there, but that's good enough. I'm not gonna muck with that anymore because I don't want to tempt fate. <laughs> I think that will just wreck it. Okay, I think I'm going to leave this video here because it's just so long already. Um, hopefully you found this interesting um, and informative because that was the aim of this video. My other wig video is my most watched video so far on my channel. Um, and I did get a few criticisms about the not being able to see the hairline. And obviously in that video it was a try on. Um, so not being able to see the parting was a bit of a thing. Um, but this video is a bit more of a how to wear these wigs. So like part two. Um, hopefully you found this interesting and enjoyed it. So hopefully I'll see you again soon for another video. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. And any questions, please use the comment section below. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. Take care, bye.